Yo, what's up everybody? Dorian here, cruising around the Crown Vic again. Another rainy day as you can see. Listen to some cops theme song. The best thing about this car, man, is that it, it keeps me watching cops. I don't really care for the cops show, but man, let me tell you, I watch cops all day just to hear cops. It's filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. Innocent sus suspects are innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. And every time I drive this car from time to time, I'll have to put this song on just because it just makes me laugh, man. I just love cops so much. They have a bunch of compilation videos online of cops doing like silly stuff during the show. And I'll never forget this one video. This guy was uh, riding his Crown Vic. He gets out to like respond to like a fight in progress or something like that. And the guy gets out of the car and like hits his nose on the door. It like smacks his face right on the door. Oh, it was so funny. But uh, yeah, there's not really much going on. It's a rainy day. Just figured I'd get out for a drive, see what's going on. I started painting this car. Oh, that dog's about to die. Come on, pup. Yo, Perrier, you need to chill. He's coming towards me. Come here, bub. Alright, we're back. So, that dog was off a leash or whatever, just trying to, I don't know, get some fresh air or something, but the owner couldn't get a hold of it and all these cars were coming. I tried to open my window to get the dog to be able to come closer to my car or something like that, but they weren't having it. But yeah, it's just it's just a rainy day. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Crown Vic because the transmission, I got the transmission redone and like it's great now. The, tra the car drives great. I just have to put the springs back into the accumulator, uh, the one and two accumulator pistons because it shifts really hard into first and second, which is normal for the J mod. I just, I just don't care for it. Oh wow, look at that sweet car. Nice. So yeah, I bought the new upgraded springs, so I just wanna put them in the car whenever uh, I go to get the oil flushed again, the transmission fluid, I mean. I wanted to talk about the benefits of uh, painting your own car because I started to paint, I had a couple chips and a couple rust spots on the right side of this car, as you guys saw in the videos prior. So I watched a Chris Fix. Hey, Chris Fix here. Check out this drift. Sick drift, bro. So I, I, I looked on the Chris Fix video on how to fix rust and how to paint the car and stuff. And mine, I can't find the colorway for this car. It's either the, the code on the door said that it was a performance white. So I bought performance white from AutoZone, sprayed it. Yeah, it's definitely not performance white. So then I um, asked online and people were saying like some of their cars are Oxford white. So I bought an Oxford white and guess what? It was also not an Oxford white. So now I have like three different whites on my car with some primer. I went to Mako earlier today to kind of see like what it would cost to get it to to be painted and Mako told me they charged me like uh, $150 a panel I have it on front panel this passenger door driver door and the rear quarter panel so right there 150 times 4 is 600 bucks and uh, I have a little bit of back here on the other quarter panel the guy told me he charged me $700 to paint the whole car so I gotta see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and hit Perth Amboy uh, tomorrow or something like that, depending on the weather, and see if I can get it painted for either cheaper or see if I can get them to match the color and, and set it up with something like that. But 700 bucks I thought was pretty cheap to paint the car. One of my, one of my good buddies, Chris, um, wrapped this whole car for like close to $3,000 with, with a pretty sick camo wrap. And uh, I was thinking that paint would probably cost somewhere around that. 
So I was actually pretty shocked to hear $700. Granted, it was Mako, so who knows what the quality of paint would be from Mako, if it's if it's even worth, you know, doing it. But yeah, I thought that was pretty. I thought that was a pretty cheap price. I'm sure I can get it for more, you know, for a better quality rather than them just spraying it. But uh, yeah, I thought $700 was pretty cheap. So the moral of the story, like I said, I was going to tell you about how to paint your car, but the moral of the story is if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with it. Let the professionals do it. You know, I tried it out. I obviously have no idea what I'm doing, even though it seemed relatively simple and everything seemed to be working good. I just used the wrong colors and now I'm like kind of paying for it. So yeah, your best bet is to just let the professionals do it. This car is going so slow now. But, uh, yeah. I just want to let you guys know if you're going to start modifying the car on this rainy day or if you want to start painting it, just just know what you're doing. Because now I'm driving around with a car with five different color whites. And I like to keep this car as spick and span as, as I can. And if you can tell, I literally bring it to the car wash at least once a week. Even if it's like a raining day like this, if the car wash is open and it's there in that week, I like to bring it. So, just, you know, keep your eyes out for things like that. Uh, if you are going to go ahead and paint it, just be careful of how you're going to go about it. Make sure you do your research. Alright guys, see ya.